Hey everyone, welcome back wherever you are in the world. It's an honor to have you with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, how do you stop an enemy you can't even see? That's exactly what Iran tried to figure out when it put its S-300 missile system to the test against America's most elusive aircraft, the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. This is the same bomber that recently dropped 30,000-pound GBU-57 bunker-busting bombs deep into Iran's heavily fortified Fordow nuclear facility. The stakes couldn't be higher. Iran's most advanced air defense system was tasked with intercepting a plane specifically designed to leave behind nothing more than a faint blip on a radar screen. But here's the real question. Can Iran's S-300 radar track an aircraft that was built to be invisible? As the confrontation unfolded, the challenge became clear. Can any defense system lock onto something meant to disappear? Why the B-2 Spirit is so hard to stop The B-2 Spirit wasn't just built to fly, it was built to vanish. Its unique flying wing design doesn't just look futuristic, it serves a purpose. No vertical stabilizers, no sharp angles. This shape reflects radar waves in unpredictable directions, making it hard for enemy radar to get a solid return signal. The whole aircraft is coated with radar-absorbing materials, so it often appears on radar as nothing more than background noise, sometimes no bigger than a bird or a tennis ball. But the B-2's stealth isn't just skin deep. It's equipped with systems that control its electronic emissions, so it doesn't give off signals that electronic eavesdropping systems can detect. Even the engines are buried deep inside the body and the exhaust is cooled before release, reducing its infrared heat signature. Bottom line, it's hard to spot on radar, with heat sensors, or even with passive detection systems. That forces defenders to rely almost entirely on radar tracking. How the B-2 outsmarts Iran's air defenses. The B-2's mission planning is insanely precise. Pilots fly specific routes designed to avoid overlapping radar zones. When up against Iran's multi-layered air defense network, S-300s, S-200s, TOR systems, U.S. mission planners look for radar blind spots and weave through them at carefully chosen altitudes and angles to avoid detection. This method worked in real life. In June 2023, B-2 bombers flew undetected to Fordow, one of the most heavily protected sites on Earth, dropped massive bunker busters, and escaped without being intercepted. The mission involved long flight times and multiple mid-air refuels, but stealth was the key to success. Iran's air defense system is honestly, one of the most complex in the region. It's built to defend critical sites like Fordow, Natanz, and Isfahan. These are facilities buried deep under rock and concrete. Around these areas, Iran has set up a mix of imported and homegrown missile systems. The backbone is Russia's long-range S-300 system, which can track multiple targets up to about 300 kilometers away. Iran also deploys its own Bavar 373 system, which has similar long-range engagement capability and, actually, even higher mobility. For low-flying or nearby threats, Short- and medium-range systems like the Kordad-15 fill in the gaps. Each of these layers is designed to back up the others. The system uses multiple radar types, all operating on different frequencies. Long-range radars scan for high-altitude threats, while short-range, high-frequency radars focus on those sneaky, low-flying intruders. All this data gets sent to centralized command units which coordinate responses across the network. But, you know, even this sophisticated structure has its cracks. The B-2 was designed to exploit exactly those weaknesses. If it slips through a gap, or is only visible for a split second, the window to fire closes before a missile can even be launched. The reality is, Iran's theoretical wall of defense is much harder to pull off in practice, especially when you're up against stealth aircraft. Every successful B-2 mission sends a pretty clear strategic message. It proves that even advanced layered air defense systems can be outsmarted and that forces countries like Iran to rethink their investments. We've seen this play out from Kosovo to Syria stealth technology just keeps staying one step ahead of air defense upgrades. Iran keeps improving its network, hoping that overlapping coverage and radar diversity will eventually catch stealth planes like the B-2. Operators are trained to spot even the tiniest blip, any anomaly that might suggest a stealth aircraft is lurking nearby. New radar technologies like phased arrays and frequency-modulated systems have been brought in for better sensitivity and more resistance to electronic countermeasures. But the big question is, can all this really defeat a bomber that's built to be invisible? 
Iran is even looking into the S-400 system, but it hasn't been deployed yet. For now, the focus is on upgrading and integrating current systems, combining imported tech with domestic innovations to create a defense-in-depth strategy that can, hopefully, survive saturation attacks. Still, the network isn't perfect. Combining different systems can actually create inconsistencies in radar coverage and delays in data sharing. Coordinating between all these different radars and missile batteries is complex, and that complexity just increases the chances of a stealth bomber slipping through. Iran's challenge is pretty clear. Detect and shoot down something that's engineered specifically not to be seen. Their best hope is to catch a fleeting radar anomaly and act on it instantly. In those few seconds, the entire defense system is put to the test. The B-2 Spirit brings more than just stealth. It has a full defensive toolkit designed to fool even the most advanced missile systems. When a missile locks onto it, the B-2 can unleash electronic countermeasures, or ECM, that mess with the connection between the missile and its ground-based radar. This jamming scrambles the missile's guidance, sometimes sending it chasing after false signals. What really makes this interference powerful is the B-2's ability to adapt in real time, changing its jamming frequencies to match whatever radar bands are being used. That's especially important in a place like Iran, where multiple radar systems might be operating at once. This flexibility is crucial. The ECM suite acts like a smart shield, constantly scanning and reacting to the changing electromagnetic environment. On top of that, there are physical countermeasures thanks to its low heat engines. The B-2 can fire off flares that burn hotter and brighter than its exhaust, confusing infrared-guided missiles and pulling them off course. The timing is everything. The flares are released at just the right moment when the missile's seeker is most vulnerable to deception. Then there's chaff, clouds of tiny metallic fibers released into the air to confuse radar-guided missiles. These fibers create a fake radar signature, overwhelming the missile's radar seeker with multiple strong signals. The missile often veers off course, unable to tell the real bomber from the decoy. What really sets the B-2 apart, though, is its decoys, not just distractions, but specially engineered devices that mimic the B-2's radar signature so closely that enemy missiles often end up hitting the decoy instead of the real bomber. These decoys fly in tight formations with the B-2, tricking both missile seekers and radar operators into thinking there are multiple targets. Their flight patterns are synchronized with the B-2's own movements to maximize confusion and protect the real aircraft. One of the biggest advantages of the B-2's defensive systems is automation. These systems are designed to detect threats, assess them, and react instantly, without needing a human in the loop. Sensors constantly monitor the radar and infrared environment, triggering the best countermeasure on the spot. This automation eliminates the deadly lag time between detection and response, crucial in a high-speed missile encounter where seconds can decide survival. The B-2's defense strategy is layered and smart. It doesn't just throw out jamming signals or flares randomly, everything is coordinated. The onboard systems analyze the type of threat, how the missile is guided, and the radar environment, then pick the right mix of countermeasures. Against systems like Iran's S-300, which can switch between radar and infrared tracking, the B-2 can seamlessly switch from jamming to flares, deploy decoys, and keep the enemy guessing. This adaptability forces missiles to go through multiple lines of defense, each one designed to reduce their chances of a hit. These countermeasures don't make the B-2 invincible, but they massively improve its odds of survival. For Iranian air defense operators, that means their window to detect, track, and successfully engage the B-2 is reduced to just a few seconds. In short, the B-2's defenses squeeze Iran's chances of a successful intercept down to the smallest of margins, where every second favors the stealth bomber. The combination of stealth and advanced countermeasures in the B-2 is, honestly, changing the game in modern warfare. It can slip through even the densest air defense networks and survive in contested skies, really flipping traditional air defense doctrine on its head. The B-2's ability to reach and destroy heavily fortified targets like Iran's nuclear facilities shows just how much stealth and electronic warfare have reshaped air power. With its stealthy design, electronic jamming systems, and precision-guided bombs, the B-2 makes old-school defense strategies far less effective. Opponents are now faced with a tough reality, even their most heavily guarded assets are vulnerable to aircraft that are designed not just to avoid detection, but to completely dodge interception from start to finish. 
and as U.S. stealth and jamming technology continues to evolve, the question remains, can any air defense truly keep up? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to X News, like, comment, and stay tuned for